Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to start things off with a bit of an experiment. Here I have a jar full of rice and I want to fit this rock inside this but it doesn't fit. It's sticking out. But let's see what happens when we switch them around and I put the rock in first and then the rice. I'm going to put the rice into this bowl so that you know it's the same amount of rice. Right, now we have the rock at the bottom and all the rice has fitted into the jar. What can we learn from this? Let's pretend that this rock is God and all this rice is everything else that we need to do. When we try and put everything else before God, before we put the rock on top, when we put the rice first, it doesn't fit. But when we put the rock inside first, then everything else fits in. So when we put God first, everything else fits in too. When we do things without thinking first, or we put ourselves first, we usually end up disappointed. We can never have true joy unless we put God first in our lives. Today, we're going to look at a Bible story that involves a special disciple named Peter. Peter loved the Lord, but sometimes he acted or spoke quickly and didn't think about the consequences. The one He's the one who saw Jesus walking on the water, and he himself walked on water too. We spoke about him last week. We're going to read from the Bible two different stories about two different events that happened in Peter's life. One that made him sad and one that made him glad. And we will see that Peter was much happier when he agreed to love and follow Jesus first. The first passage, we will look what hap at what happened when Jesus was arrested and crucified. Peter had always told Jesus that he would follow him no matter what. In fact, at the Last Supper, he told Jesus that he would die for him. And Jesus predicted something different. In John 13, verse 36 to 38, Peter says, Lord, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, you will lay down your life for me? Truly, truly, I say to you, the rooster will not crow until you deny me three times. Well, after Jesus was arrested and put on trial, Peter was near the place that he was. As he warmed himself by the fire, his nerves got the better of him. And let's see what happened. We can read about this next part in John 18 verse 15 to 25. I'm just going to read certain parts of it for us. The servant girl said to Peter, are you not one of this man's disciples? He said, I am not. Now Peter was standing and warming himself. So they said to him, Are you also not one of the man's disciples? He denied it, saying, I am not. Now one of the servants of the high priest said, asked him, Did I not see you in the garden with him? Peter denied it again, and at once the rooster crowed. Imagine how sad Peter must have felt when he realized that he had broken one of the promises he had made Jesus. He would promised to put Jesus first, and in this situation, he put his own safety first. When he heard the rooster crow, Peter remembered the words that Jesus had said about him and realized that he had gone against his word and denied knowing Jesus. Have you ever tried to blend in with a group and not be noticed? That's sort of what Peter was doing here. He's trying to fit in and he doesn't want to get in trouble for being friends with Jesus. 
Thankfully, that was not the end of the story for Peter. After Jesus rose from the dead, he was talking to his disciples. And he said to Peter, Do you love me more than these? Peter said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus continued to ask Peter two more times. Why did Jesus ask him three times if he loved him? Well, remember, that's how many times Peter denied knowing Jesus. Peter then learned the importance of putting God first. And Peter ended up doing a lot for God's kingdom. Our job is similar. When we put Jesus first, we realize how special and important he is. And that makes us want to serve him with all that we have. When we do that, we glorify God and that gives us genuine joy. Let's make sure that we always put our rock, God, before our wrath, everyone and everything else. Let's put God first now by praying and worshipping together. Dear God, we're sorry for the times that we've put other things ahead of you. Remind us to love you with all our hearts, souls and minds and to always put you first. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Shake, shake, some things break, break You are my rock, my everything